Hi, my name is Kaisa Krusko, and I am a family law attorney in Bedford, New Hampshire. Here are some of the things that you should know when filing a petition to terminate parental rights. Your petition to terminate parental rights will need to set forth specific statutory grounds that allow for the termination of the parent's parental rights. A statutory ground means the facts which, under the law, will allow for the court to determine and issue an order of termination of parental rights. You can find these specific statutory grounds listed out in RSA 170C. In a private TPR, which is a case where the petitioning party is not the state of New Hampshire, the two most common grounds for termination of parental rights are the failure to support and abandonment. There are other grounds which are enumerated in the statute and you can review. The statutory grounds are technical and provide detailed definitions for the facts and circumstances which would allow for the termination of parental rights. For example, under abandonment, the statute provides that the period of abandonment must be for at least six months. Make sure that you are thoroughly familiar with the statutory definitions in order to prove your termination of parental rights case. You must complete a termination of parental rights petition for each child and for each parent. The filing fee is $150. When you file a petition to terminate parental rights, the court will appoint a guardian ad litem. The guardian ad litem is a person who will represent the best interests of the child and will do an investigation and make a recommendation to the court as to whether the termination of parental rights is in the best interest of the child. You should be prepared to pay for the guardian ad litem fees because the petitioner in the termination of parental rights cases is 100% responsible for the costs of the guardian ad litem. A guardian ad litem will normally request a $1,000 retainer. A social study of your home is required. A social study is a report that will be generated by the Department of Health and Human Services or another authorized agency to report back to the court about the suitability of your home as the adoptive parent. If, however, you are a parent seeking to terminate the parental rights of another parent, the social study may be waived. You will have to file a motion with the court to waive the social study. As the petitioner, you are not entitled to an attorney, although you may hire an attorney if you choose to do so. The defendant, whose parental rights and responsibilities are at stake in this case, is entitled to an attorney, and one will be appointed to him or her if he or she cannot afford an attorney. At a final hearing, you will need to prove the statutory grounds beyond reasonable doubt. In addition to proving the statutory grounds for termination of parental rights, you will also need to show that the termination of parental rights is in the best interest of the child. If the termination of parental rights is successful and you are able to terminate the parent's parental rights, that means that the parent will no longer have any legal rights, duties, or obligations to the child. This includes the duty to pay support and the right to reasonable visitation. If you have further questions about termination of parental rights, please feel free to contact my office by telephone, email, or through my website. Thank you for listening.